On June 1st, I headed out to Muskoma Zawadenik territory. Some people call it the Broughton Archipelago. I went out to count sea lice on juvenile salmon. I've been doing this for 17 years. For a while, the salmon farming industry got their sea lice under control. They used a drug called Slice. But something has been going very wrong in the last few years. And most, over 80% of the young salmon that are leaving the archipelago, the Area 12 mainland inlets, are heavily infected with sea lice. These fish are much too young to have lice. This one has dark holes that have actually been eaten into his sides by the lice. These fish are simply too young for sea lice. These are juvenile sockeye. We're not sure where they come from. They don't come through the archipelago. They're just visitors at the outside, but they get infected. And this is a herring with dozens of sea lice. They're hanging off his dorsal fin. They're on his sides, his pectoral fins. This fish is not surviving. You can see most of his scales are damaged. And the herring are uh, essential. They've, they haven't been fished for 30 years in this area, but they're still declining. And you have to wonder if it's something like this that is the problem. The archipelago is full of creatures that depend on salmon, that depend on herring, the stellar sea lions, the kelp forest, which nurture the young salmon, Young salmon are feeding in this area and getting ready to go out to sea. They're practicing, they're leaping, <laughs> they're growing very fast. The harbor porpoise live in this area as well. And there are many forms of seabirds. These are harlequin ducks that we saw. And then there's the Pacific white-sided dolphins. This is a living coast. And to allow the aquaculture industry to just pour all of its waste and disease and sea lice into these waters, this doesn't make sense to me. It's, it's killing the place.